everybody and welcome back to another how to and today I'll be teaching you how to locate and delete corrupt custom content in your Sims 4 game. Now I have had my fair share of CC struggles in my lifetime but I do use a specific method in order to locate which item is corrupt and remove it from my mods folder. So firstly, before I start showing you how to do this, I just want to show you a good way um, to store your mods in your mods folder. Every time I install a new batch of custom content, I will put it in a dated folder. So for example, this one says 8th of May, 10th of June, 15th of Feb, and so on. So I know exactly what I put in my game and when it was. So if I load a whole heap of new custom content onto my game and then I go to start up my game and something's glitching out or the game doesn't start up overall, I know that it's something in that folder. Now I didn't always do this. I used to have all my mods looking something like this in a huge pile in one massive folder. And I'm going to be teaching you how to locate a bad item in this sort of scenario if you store your custom content this way, which many people do, this, this way will teach you how to locate it. So what you need to do for this method is you need to find halfway down the mods folder and select roughly half of the mods that you have in your game. And what I do from here is I make a new folder Oh, not in this folder. I make it in the desktop. And I title it mods. So just mods. And then, like I said, I will select roughly half of all the mods I have in my mods folder and drag them and drop them into that new folder. So I'm left with half of the mods I originally had. And then the other half are in the new folder I made on my desktop. And the next step from here is to start up your Sims game. And depending on what the problem is, see whether it does start up, if your initial problem was that it didn't, or see if that the glitch or the bug has gone away. If the glitch or the bug or the problem that you had has gone away, we now know that the problem lies in this half of the mods that you had installed. So if the problem only lies in one item, then we know that all of these items here in the mods folder are good mods. So I'll make a new folder and I'll title it good mods. And I'll put in all of these items in here into that new folder because we know that they're not negatively affecting the game. So the problem lies somewhere in the, this folder. So the next thing that I'm going to do is repeat the same method. I'm going to find highlight and find half of the custom content here and drag it back into my game. So now we have another half and then we're going to start the game up again. And if the game does have the error, then we know that it's somewhere in this lot of mods. If it does not have the error, we know that it is somewhere in this lot of mods. So then we basically repeat the process, halving down the items until we can locate the item that's causing trouble, the item that is, isn't working in the game. So you can, you can halve as many times as you like or if you're down to you know a quarter of your custom content and you know you can live without some of these items you can just delete them all together because you know that the problem will be in there somewhere but you can keep halving them and keep moving down the list and you'll eventually find that one item that has caused your game to stuff up so put your good mods back in your game and after you found the corrupt one, you should be able to restart with no problems whatsoever. 
So thank you for watching this tutorial. It may be a little confusing because I didn't really have a bad mod to begin with when I recorded this. So it is a little bit um, interpretive. You have to interpret what I've just shown you and do it into your own game. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching.